Welcome back to Planet Zoo. This is episode 5, where we've added two more animals, and you can guess probably by the title of what those two animals are. Um, so I want to first talk about something that I got wrong in episode 4, and then show you kind of some things that I got, uh, that I did for episode 5. Um, this shouldn't take too long, I just want to cover it really fast. Um, so the Gemsbok, the first animal that was put into the animal park, excuse me, um, was, I got some things wrong. So I decided for this episode in preparation for it, I started to do a little bit of research. And I came across a Association of Zoos and Aquariums PDF that talked about Gemsbok. Um, and um, basically this PDF talked about that z typically in a zoo environment, Gemsbok are housed in what's called a harem herd, which is one or two males with several females. And so let me click on the exhibit here, go to the animals that are housed in here, and you can now see we have two males with five females. Um, so what I did in episode four was three females for three males, so each one would have a partner. Um, according to the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, that was wrong. And so I wanted to fix that. So that was the first thing I did. The second thing I did with their exhibit is I actually expanded it. Um, so the old exhibit came off of this pole and went to the edge of this, um, the house for the gems box. And I added basically, I think it's 16 meters onto the exhibit over this way. So here's that road. You can kind of see the remnants of the road um, from the other episode. Um, so yeah, I just kind of uh, expanded it and that's all I did. The other thing actually, as way of a game mechanic, um, so anytime you adjust terrain around water, it kind of does something funky. So in order to get it to look right, you have to remove the water, adjust the terrain, add the water back. But the path that goes over the water is too close to add the water back in there. So it basically becomes really hard to edit terrain around the water. So what I did is I basically capped off the water um, and added a trench um, to, to this exhibit over here. Um, kind of the way I'm, I'm thinking about it to make sense uh, in the animal park is they probably did have a road here at one point uh, and they are going to have another exhibit and so they just built this trench. Now they don't and it's just the fence going over top of it and so they just have this kind of trench now that's buried. And it's kind of the same thing I did over here before with the pile of dirt. I just basically said they built the trench and they piled the dirt back on top of it. Um, so that's kind of the gems box. Now for the rest of the episode let's talk about what's new. You can kind of see it there at the top of the screen as we come across the zoo entrance. We have camels! Camels were the first uh, animal that I added. and They are very loud so I apologize for that if you can hear that. It's blaring in your ears. Um, but camels um, were something that I really wanted to add into this animal park. Um, and so the first thing I did is I did a little bit of research. Same association of zoos and aquariums. I found that these guys, there's two options of kind of exhibits or habitats. Uh, the first one is a single breeding male uh, can be housed with several females. Or... There can be a group of bachelor males uh, together. So what I decided to do with this one, I'll show you here. I have one male and several females with uh, this in this ha habitat. Um, I thought that was the best way to go. Um, I just the different. There's a little bit variations in the model. So these two are females. I think the male is over here. Yeah, this is the male. He's just a little bit bigger of a, a little guy, um, but he hangs out in here with all the females. Um, so that's basically it. There's nothing really special about this exhibit. Um, yeah, really nothing special. Um, the 
this is called the Indian House because um, the two. Oh, one thing I do want to mention about these camels is they're not what the typical camel is that everybody thinks about. Uh, the typical camel is called I think it's a dom domitarian, domitarian, something like that. It starts with a D. Those camels uh, reside in Africa. Um, whereas these ones, the and the the dom domitarian, I totally butchering that. But that only has one hump. These are bacterian camels. Uh, they have two humps, and they're located in Central Asia. And uh, they are called the uh, the ships of the desert. They are used a lot for transporting from the coast uh, of Asia in, to the more inland parts. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of some interesting things. So that's why this, um, the house of these this guy, is called the Indian houses because these are a little bit of an Asian Indian culture, and then the other animal is directly Indian. So it's not that uh, not that complex of a design. Um, basically, you have a little walkway, and then you have metal bars and a way to get them in and out of the exhibit. Uh, the animals. Um, yeah, so the Indian house. And then there's just a small backstage here um, for different uh, different props. The final animal of the episode was not something that I was really planning on doing, but I'm very happy I did. It is the Indian elephant. Um, I really love elephants. Probably my favorite animal whenever I go to the zoo is the elephant. Although these are not the typical elephants, these are kind of the the forgotten elephant in my opinion the ones that we typically see in zoo is I believe the African elephant I think is what it is um, I don't know where they're at let me go up to elephant really fast uh, I don't know where they're at anyway so these Indian elephants what is that Oh, he was playing with the food thing. So the Indian elephants, I don't have an uh, association of zoos and aquariums or an AZA uh, pamphlet for this guy. So I used what the game gave me. Um, so these guys are located in Central and Southeastern Asia. They are endangered. Um, and let's see, so that's kind of where they're at. Um, so these guys... Uh, are typically one male up and up to 29 females in a herd. So I have one male, I believe it's this guy in the back here, and I believe he has um, four females. It was a little crowded. I had seven at one point. It was very crowded in this exhibit. Um, but now I, I think it, the, the four females with that one male is a good proportion to the exhibit size. And especially how big this animal park is. Um, one thing that I do want to mention about this as we come to a close here is this would have probably been a very recent addition to the zoo or the animal park. Um, I would assume that something else would have been housed here when the park first opened. Um, and they had either moved that or something along those lines and brought, changed the exhibit up and brought in the Indian elephants. Um, because since, especially because of the endangered status, these would be very ex uh, expensive to bring to this animal park. Um, and to get approval for that, I would assume that it would be a very expensive animal um, to bring in to, to this animal park. These guys poo a lot. That's one thing I've learned about them. Um, but yeah, I really like this exhibit. Very lush. They're more of a the jungle is kind of what it was. Um, luckily enough that some of the trees match some of the trees around. And so yeah, very lush. You can kind of, let me, I'll show this is, so this is kind of the, you can see 
very lush. Half the time you can't even see them. Just because they're hiding behind their bushes. Anyway. So, next episode, not really sure where we're going to go. I'll probably finish this off over here. Uh, there's two. So I'll go scroll back over here to finish it off. I think there's two more exhibits. Maybe one exhibit to go into here between this exhibit and the road. The road is the edge. Um, and then we'll kind of have this front part of the, the animal park um, put into place. Anyway, thank you guys so much for sticking around with me. Click that like, click that subscribe button if you're enjoying. Leave a comment down below, um, especially if you want to... Uh, to name the zoo if you want to have an opportunity to do that leave your suggestions down below what we want to name this animal park um yeah until next time guys until episode six see ya